We're going to begin with something that speaks volumes. Our government is forever blasting two countries in particular, right? We generally say two things about them, that they're not fair, that they're un-American, and that we as American consumers should avoid their products and buy American, by golly. Well, there is one product that is probably more American than just about any other. In fact, as cars go, this is it. This is as iconic as it gets. Ford takes over the town. Mustang, the hottest going thing, is the car that made all America young. Mustang Mach 1. Built for the big hurry with Cobra Jet. Racier, sportier, success on parade. Mustang, the go, go, going thing. There it is, Mustang, the go, go, going thing, as you heard in that spot. The car that made all America young. When you say Mustang, you're talking USA, strong, rugged, free, independent. It's a part of Americana. And now, as automobile technology turns to batteries and electric and to plug-ins, there's this. You should have seen this coming. A stampede unleashed 55 years ago. An icon built for freedom, the open road, power, and rebellion. Just when you think you know where they're going, they do something unexpected. Something that moves us all forward and holds nothing back. The all-electric Mustang Mark E. The newest member of the family. Newest member of the family, the Mustang Mark E. That's right. The Mustang is going electric. Good old American know-how survives, right? American ingenuity on display, right? Wrong. <laughs> Why? The Mustang, America's most legendary car, will now be built in. Are you ready for this? Remember at the very beginning of this newscast, I said there are two countries that we're already told, we're always being told we should not buy from those countries. It's almost un-American to buy from those countries. That's what we're told by our government officials and others. Well, this Mustang Mach-E, this electric car, will be built in Mexico and China. The two countries that our government is constantly telling us is un-American, not to buy from them. Not in the U.S., Mexico and China. So say what you will about China and Mexico being bad or having a system that doesn't work. In the end, more and more American products, even the most iconic American products, the Mustang, doesn't get more iconic than that, by being built in places like Mexico and China and Vietnam, and I could go on. Why are they built there? Because tough rhetoric aside, we ask them to build them. Irony. This is the news with Rick Sanchez. So you haven't heard that we're the ones covering the stories that you won't see covered anywhere else in Venezuela. Kazakhstan. Let's go to Hong Kong. And the media reaction to that has been crickets. How about the way we cover those stories? What the hell does that mean? Huawei, Huawei, Huawei. That's the key word in this case, uprising. Keep? Can you believe that? Watch it. This is the right thing for members of the media to do, to actually pick sides. Look, if you like what you see, subscribe.